You Ain't Seen Nothing Yet was another song that Randy Bachman wrote when he was with BTO. And it you hear him sing, and it doesn't sound like the right singer. So I'm thinking maybe one of his brothers might have sang lead on this song. But I never paid much attention to it. I like the song, but I never compared. Yeah, I never did either. I, but anyway, you. you here you go. You ain't seen Randy nothing Bachman yet. Randy Bachman doing it in his garage. What? So you ain't seen nothing yet. So I took what I could get oh, oh. She looked at me with them big brown eyes And said you ain't seen nothing yet But baby you just ain't seen nothing yet Here's something that you're never gonna forget baby But baby you just ain't seen nothing yet You ain't been around And now I'm feeling better Cause I found out for sure She took me to the doctor And he told me I was cured He said that any love is good luck, man So I took what I could get Yes, I took what I could get in then And then she looked at me with the big brown eyes And said, you ain't seen nothing yet You know, you know that's his guitar. I mean, he, he's one that yeah, plays that's, that. That plays sounds the like an entirely different version. Yeah, well, I, I think I'd say I think maybe one of his brothers were lead singer on that one, but he wrote that song. But he, then he'd say Randy back when he redid these songs. Because that, that does not that ending does not sound like the ending I've got. Right, and it's not. It's I'm saying it's Randy Bachman. Yeah, it's, it's not BTO. It's Randy Bachman. Okay, yeah. Huh, I'll be so, darned. Bachman, of course, Bachman. B, you know, it's Bachman Turner Overdrive. So. Randy Bachman. Okay, anyway, let me read it here. Rand, uh, Randolph Charles Randy Bachman. It says he was born September 27th in 1943. Canadian musician, best known as uh, lead guitarist, songwriter, and uh, founding member of the 1960s, 1970s rock bands, The Guess Who, and Bachman Turner Overdrive. Uh, Bachman was also a member of the Brave Belt with uh, Chad Allen. I don't know that one. I'm not familiar um, with that. Also Iron Horse. 
I've heard an Iron Horse. And he has uh, recorded no, uh, numerous solo albums, which is what this is, a solo right, solo. Yeah. And uh, he is also a national radio personality on CBS Radio 1, hosting the weekly music uh, show Vinyl Tap. I don't I've know. heard that, too. Have you? Yeah. Okay, so anyway, so, he's still so, doing it. So that, uh, Okay, now, what is that, an album he did then? On his own? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. He, he, when I interviewed him, he said, "Yeah, I've been just messing around in my garage. I got a little studio in my garage. I've been messing around, redoing some of my old stuff." And he said, "I'll send you a copy." And that's what it was. It was a copy that he had sent me, and that was one hmm. of the song, a couple of the songs off it. I got one more song on, on that album that he did. It was uh, that he wrote, and that was, you know, because when you write the songs, you can play. You know, if you write them, you can play them whenever you want, except for. John Fogarty, who screwed up on that one. But anyway. Um, <laughs> so anyway, the other, another great song. I always loved this song from the Guess Who, and it was also Randy Bachman wrote the song, and it was No Sugar Tonight. So this is his version of that. You ready? And I remember that from the Guess Who. Oh, yeah, great yeah. song. Okay, but yeah, go ahead. There we go. Definitely different than the Guess Who version. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. That wasn't his name, but it was close. Yeah. <laughs> no Sugar Tonight, that was Randy Bachman. Uh, That's definitely a different version. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. more so than well, you uh, know, No Time. 
Well, you know, that's, that's, that's one thing nice about that is, like I say, you write the songs, you can do them whatever way you want. Right, yeah. And uh, like I say, I Usually think... you write them and s- s- somebody else, well, what, produces it or... Well, he was in the band. He played guitar. I mean, yeah. he, I don't think Randy Bachman did much singing. I mean, it sounds like... It sounded like Randy Bachman on No Time. I think he did it that originally was maybe the lead singer. It'd be that. interesting to find out. Yeah, like we'll I say, if we had the album down. or something, we could find that out. Yeah. But uh, No Sugar Tonight, I know he didn't do leading on that, and you ain't seen up and yet. I don't think he did lead on that one either because it didn't sound like... It might have been one of his brothers, or it could have been Turner. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I love the band, was, but I really didn't pay attention to who did the singing. Um, it was part of the Bachman-Turner Overdrive. It was, it was the Bachmans, which was him and two, his, two of his brothers that yeah. were also Bachmans. And Turner, who was one of the other members, so I just don't know who he. I don't know. I don't know where he came from. I could I could look it up on Wikipedia, I suppose. I just know. I just knew the Bachman. I don't even know what his first name is, to be honest. With I you. don't either. I never. love Bachman Turner Overdrive. I mean, I'm not fragile. I'm still one of my favorite albums of all time. So, anyway, um, that was that was. I like rocking down down the highway. You ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah. I mean, of course. He the, also the he also was, wrote he wrote uh, he wrote uh, you um, um, taking care of business too. Ta- that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, Randy my Bachman, wife's favorite song. Randy Bachman that was wrote the big that one. one. But I th- I think you you ain't seen nothing yet. And it was, is it rocking on down the highway? Yeah, rolling like around down the highway. Rolling down the highway. Uh, rocking. Two, no, I think right. I think you're right because rolling. I think is the is the Doobie Brothers. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Rocking. I, I think those two <clears throat> are classic songs. I think yeah. they're I think they're better than Hey You. I like too. Uh, that's a good. Hey that's a good tune. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, Bachman Turner, I mean, like I say, there's one there's one song he does, and I probably got it in here, and I can play it, but there was one song that I loved. It was called Not Fragile. It was from the Not, the not Fragile. Up. I know, it, was, it wasn't a hit. But it was, uh, it started, and it was, a, it was a bass line. What are you trying to do, imitate me? No, it was a, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a bass line, and, I, and when I, back then, I in the 70s, I used to try to play the bass, and it was, like, real easy to play, so... I think I listened to that song over and over again. But, um, <laughs> well, this is pretty good, though. Yeah, that's the stuff here I didn't know. Well, well, you're he, lucky you got that, uh, that he sent you that. That that could be uh, a real, real well, I've, memorabilia I've got, type I've got of collection more, too. Thing. I just got to find it. I don't know where it's at. That's the problem. Well, yeah, I hope your kids didn't get into it. Yeah, it's possible. You know, or you it's just didn't possible. lose it. I mean, you do a lot of that. Yeah. The other thing, too, I was talking but about. I was, do, too, but that's, you know. Was was sweet. Cool, man. Sweet, sweet, yeah, sweet. They did. Uh, there was a Destination Boulevard. I think was the name of the album. They had Ballroom Blitz on it, and uh, what else did we play on that? That was there. Was, there was a couple other hits they had on that album. I know. But, I know. Have you got any? Have you got any? Uh, Beat me, Daddy. Eight to the bar. You got anything like that in your repertoire over there? Probably, yeah. We probably could find it. But, <laughs> talking old stuff there. But, but uh, anyway, the one thing about this was I was telling you there's a song in there called ACDC, Some Other Woman As Well As Me. So yeah, you keep that. talking about that, yeah. but I haven't heard it yet. And there was a, the other songs around the album. There was one called uh, Committed, I think, and uh, No You Don't, and If You Want To Be 16, Destiny. 